our business has been growing very quickly in the last two or three years. Uh, double digit growth, probably uh, between 25 and 50 percent growth for the last couple of years, which has been a little hard to manage. And probably the bulk of that at this point is coming from what we consider to be our digital marketing strategy. So that encompasses our website, which is kind of the hub of what we do, and we work very hard to keep that up to date. All of our products that we sell are online. Um, that, of course, gets updated on a daily basis. But we also support the website then with kind of a network of surrounding digital channels. So we use social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, uh, whatever kind of digital assets are available out there, we try to utilize. And that means doing daily posts with those, frankly, twice daily. So as we add items to our store, as we go to events, as we add new product lines, we will, we'll of course put those on the website, write an article about those on the website, put those products in our online store, whatever the case may be. But then we turn around and we also promote those then on the social media channels. So that'll get promoted to Facebook, that'll get promoted to Google+, Plus, that'll get promoted on Twitter. And we use YouTube primarily as a way to focus on specific products. So if we have a vehicle that's you know, you might have a $7,000 utility vehicle in the store. We'll do a little video about that that vehicle and we'll put it on YouTube and then of course we'll stream that right back into the online store and put it on the website. Uh, and then on top of that, we also have a, a digital advertising strategy. So we spend money with Google, run Google AdWords, and you know, utilize those other resources that are available from an advertising standpoint online as well. So it's kind of a cohesive strategy. Website, social media, videos, online advertising, and try to tie those together to drive traffic as much as possible for as little money as possible. What we found, frankly, is it takes time, but it doesn't take much money. You know, the budget end of it is very flexible, but someone just has to spend the time and put the work into it. And we would certainly recommend that to another small business that's trying to find a way to leverage limited resources to grow their audience. You've got to use those digital resources. You've got to get the word out there for as cheaply as you can, and there's no better way to do it than online.